right now. Say that. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. It's time. Oh, it's time. Church ladies cooking in the kitchen. Church ladies, I'm Nisi. I'm Libby. And I'm Sharon. <laughs> and we have an amazing show for you today. I'm really, really excited, ladies, because we have a special guest today. Special, special. Oh my goodness. I love her show. It is called Rise Up. Yeah. Love it. So today we have a special guest. Her name is Melba Miles. Yeah. Melba, we're so excited to have you here. We have something special for you today. I cannot wait. Like this, one of these, what this recipe actually is one of my favorites, and I promise mm. you, Melba, you're gonna love it. Okay, you're yes. going to love it. If you're into seafood, if mm -hmm. you really love like yes. casseroles or mm. just something different to bring to you know to the next church potluck, or Amen. you know when you get tired of um, um Shh, sister oh, Pat, I'm sorry, sister <laughs> Pat's and um. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese or hot coleslaw. Mm -hmm. Trying to figure out what, what's in it. I promise you, <laughs> this is going to be, a, this is going sitting? to definitely be a stopper. I promise you. It's really, really good. So, I'm going to tell you about what I have for you today. It's stuffed crab shells. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And then, man, I'm going to do what we But it's, it's stuffed crab shells with a, um, an Alfredo, a shrimp Alfredo drizzle. Ooh. Oh my goodness, when that I tell you, that sounds so elegant. It's elegant. Yes, the holy oil and drills and drills. Yes, 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 drills, drills. Okay, no. gotcha, gotcha. Some people need a little extra. So, <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and get started, and I'm going to tell you about the simple ingredients, and it's really, really easy for you to follow. Okay. Mm. It's pretty much about a 30 minute, about a 30 minute meal, so anyone can make this meal. So I'm going to tell you about what I have. I have about two cups of just chopped lump crab mm -hmm. and you can get lump crab already you know out of, out of the shell at your local farmers market and then you have some a lot of the delis in the grocery right. store oh. that have the lump crab i also have about 16 ounces of cream cheese mm -hmm. i have the shells that are already cooked the and it's the jumbo shells that you can get the pasta jumbo shells okay that you can pick up from any local grocer and i also have my shredded cheese and sharon you know how much i love my cheese yes, i think i put cheese on there that's why there's a lot of cheese. <laughs> That's a lot of cheese. Lot of I, cheese. I may have probably about a, a, a maybe about a cup and a half, two cups, two cups of cheese. But it's gonna go on the top. It's gonna be the topping for our amazing dish, Melba. I cannot wait until I you try this. It's it. really, really gonna be good. <laughs> I also have just a mixture of my Alfredo, and I did, it was just something I um, pulled out the can. That's you know I didn't have to make any. I didn't make any homemade. I took a shortcut, y'all. No, you didn't. <laughs> Okay. Yes, I took a shortcut. It's just part of the 30 minute meal. Absolutely. And I also added uh, shrimp, just regular uh, shrimp that you can cook for about two minutes. I seasoned okay. it and I added it to my Alfredo mixture. Okay. I also have fresh chopped parsley. I have about a fourth a cup of chili powder mm. and about a tablespoon of onion powder. Okay. A fourth a teaspoon of black pepper, as well as my magic. If you all magic, watch magic. our show, you know exactly what the magic <laughs> is. <laughs> and this is about a half a teaspoon of the magic. And these are the ingredients that are going to go in our um, our filling for Ooh. our crab shells. And these sisters, you know, we always have to work for food. Yes, we do. So Amazing. today, <laughs> you're definitely going to be working for food. So okay, Libby, I need for you to take and put my crab here. All righty. I just go ahead and we're gonna dump it in the bowl. And this is really, really simple. This is something that you can whip up as soon as you're getting home from work or you're getting back from church service. Um, even if you're like, even before Bible study, this is a great, great, great uh, idea for just just something just really, really simple. And what I did, I just added the, the cream cheese. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna incorporate it. And make sure that your cream cheese is softened. At room temperature. At room okay. temperature. Okay. So mm. otherwise you're gonna have lumps. Definitely lumps in your No, can't do lumps. No, <laughs> can't no do lumps. lumps. I said, so, um, Nisi, you mentioned that you put um, shrimp in there. What size shrimp did you use in your sauce? I used about, I used just a large. Just a large, okay. The large, but you can use any size. Okay. I definitely want it to, you know, to be flavorful. 
and you can you want to be able to taste the shrimp and have the same balance with the crab okay excellent as well. you know, you know, I, know I got to ask some shrimp question. yes ma'am you listening. know some of us church folks is on a budget <laughs> and I, we can't afford real crab Oh, you can, can definitely the use the imitation crab. Okay. You can, you know. I'm, I get a little bougie, so oh, I like the, you know, I like the real. She things. said, "I'm with you." Little bougie. You that know, ain't bougie. There, you know, I sit up there sometimes with ladies with the head, the fancy oh, hat. Absolutely. She yeah. Yeah. On, the first, on the first row, I'm on the amen set. Everybody can be on the amen set. Everybody can be on the amen set. You better be working towards it. Well, let me tell you, I because I love cheese so much, I incorporate cheese inside of my my dish as well. Cheese. You taste it inside out, so <laughs> I'm gonna take about two go. handfuls there. of the cheese because mm -hmm. I still have enough for the topping mm -hmm. and incorporate this. this. It smells so good already. It smells so good, y'all. Melba, I cannot wait until you try this. I can't. So, Melba, can you tell us a little bit about Rise Up? Can you tell us about the show? Well, the Rise Up Morning Show airs every Monday morning at mm -hmm. 9 a.m. on FoxtrotRadio.com, and the purpose of the show is to um, provide listeners with uh, great music, wow. information about finance, health, and wealth. So help people to rise up awesome. in health, wealth, in their faith. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. On a motivational, inspiring level. Wow. Okay. Wow. Would you That's say it's amazing. Christian? It, it is definitely Christian. Oh, okay. So we have a lot of fun. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Hey. All right. Well, we are ready. This is our feeling. And this is what it's going to look like. Ooh. This and it smells Ooh, so good, good already. Oh. Okay, and you're going to preheat your oven to about 375 degrees because you want mm. the cheese to really melt. Okay. So it's 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 not only going to take about maybe about maybe 15 20 minutes in the oven, maybe not even that long, but until the cheese is golden brown, of course. And then it'll be ready. It'll be ready for so taste. All right. Two hymn songs. Oh, yeah. about two hymn oh, songs. No, <laughs> no two choir selection. Yeah. Oh. No, no. See? No, not two choir selection. Oh, you know what? That might go over because you know when spirit takes over, so it just hey, that's a long time. So, <laughs> so what we're gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and get ready to um, fill our shells. Oh. And when I tell you, I, I can't wait. I can't wait for you guys to try this. So I let's get the it. let's get the pan over there. Oh, yeah, I'm glad how you stuffed these shells. Oh yes, girl, this is so good. This without is breaking really, really them, huh? good. Yes, without <laughs> well, yeah, without breaking them. <laughs> without breaking them. Show me the and even let me tell you, any time that you break one, you can still put it on your pan. What nobody knows. Okay, you probably well, really right. you. Okay, well what we're gonna do before we before we start filling the shells, we're gonna take a quick break. We wanna make sure that you stay tuned because I promise you, you don't wanna miss this. We'll be right back. <laughs> It, it smells so good already. I can't wait for you guys to try this. Mel, <laughs> I cannot wait either. Let oh my goodness. I have a story about a okay, okay. Let me share, share. share. So you guys know that I'm the salad lady in the family. Yes. <laughs> they don't trust me to turn the oven on. <laughs> <laughs> so I made, I went to Publix. And you know when you go to Publix, they have the, the people out that demonstrate how to cook things. Yes. Right. Yes. So the lady was making a casserole and I thought, I'm going to make this for the kids. So I bought double the ingredients because I said, okay, I'm going to make two so that way I won't have to cook tomorrow night. I got home, made the casserole, called the kids to the table. The kids looked at it, took a bite, and said, um, I don't want to eat this. And I said, uh, <laughs> no, if you don't want to eat it, then you can go to bed. They wow. all got up and went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> This. We're going to bed. Wow. No, they didn't. They went upstairs and went to bed. And I said, you know what? I cannot send them to bed oh, twice. Because they're going to call me back. I didn't end up throwing a casserole away. I've never made a casserole since. Wow. Did they tell you what was wrong with they it? They just said they didn't like it. Bless wow. those. I have children. never well, made a casserole since. You know what? That's like <laughs> that's like being down in the fellowship hall and you got um sister, you know, little young sister that made I'm you not know, I ain't sure. talking about me. <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> And she want to make it for pasta and don't want nobody to eat. Oh, so you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's that's, the she that's pasta favorite dish. <laughs> 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 and, no, and pasta, okay. pasta, 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 
pastor probably put in the Tupperware and just took it home. Because <laughs> he didn't eat it. Now you're polite to be a pastor. Go ahead. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. But I'm, I'm, I'm really, really excited. And I've already stuck one of the shells. So Ooh. I'm going to tell you how easy, show you how easy this show is. Show me how easy that is. So you know what, what we need to do first, Sharon? I'm going to put you to work. We're going to take some of the Alfredo. And what you do, you're going to take and put some of the Alfredo on the bottom of your, your clear dish. I, I'm using a clear dish because it just bakes much easier okay. uh, with a clear dish. But just so take not it, you know, be generous. Just sauce. Yeah, just put a little, put a, you can be a little bit more generous, you know, like. so stingy, girl. Don't be stingy. Pick it in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Everybody, boy, you know, you have that third offering where, you know, it's, it's for the building fund. Right. The church, the, fund. You know, the church fund. That's and never been built. That's never been built. <laughs> but they're building. They still building. They're building. You go out there and you see a new, a new rod every day. That's right. Okay, that looks pretty good. And you just want to drizzle the bottom of, of the pan so you have just a little little taste of the Alfredo sauce. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to fill we're gonna fill this. Show me how you feel. Like. Go ahead. my shell <laughs> So what we're going to do, we're going to take um, one of the shells. And we're gonna oh, feel the inside. I've never seen the inside. You see how easy that is? Oh, that's easy. That's oh, really easy. Yeah. You see how simple that is. So anyone, even non-professional cookers, even <laughs> no, even <laughs> salad lady, <laughs> the salad lady definitely can. I've been promoted. Well, we should not shut it down because she said Mel can fill one. <laughs> <laughs> and these are so simple to feel. And I tell you. You guys, I cannot wait. My viewers, oh, our viewers, excited, I can't, excited. I'm excited for you guys to taste this. This is one of my favorite potluck dishes, and I'm excited, guys. But you love seafood. I so love you, you seafood. You come up with some wonderful, some wonderful, wonderful recipes. Dishes. Yes. Only you. Uh -huh. So do you have any more stories, Melba? Well, I brought my fork and my knife with me because I knew we were going to eat. I knew we were going to eat today. Right, right. She said her fork and her knife. I came I ready. Yes, you came ready. Exactly. And that's what we like to hear. You know, when you're making food, you want to make people happy. You yeah. want to definitely entertain. And definitely with good food, especially when it's a good food from the heart. And we try one of them. The church ladies, we love to cook. We love to cook from the heart. So you know what? Linda's gonna come over. She's gonna feel one. <laughs> but it's so simple. It's really, really simple. So I'm gonna let Libby have a go at this. with you. So you said to pick it up. You're gonna pick one up and you're gonna open the inside. Oh, just really, inside. really gentle. gentle. Because again, you gentle. have to remember. Okay, I don't know gentle. Okay, hold you on. have to remember you are working with pasta. And sometimes okay. they don't cooperate. Oh, okay. you see that? Okay. Okay. Well, okay. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. And see? even if it does tear, it's still okay. And because just you stuff it up in there. If you stuff it, they're still gonna eat it. <laughs> Okay. Okay, that's good. Oh, okay. See, you're you're well, one of those homemade. I'm scared. I'm not scared. Stuff. Well, uh, thank you. Oh, okay. You just want to do what I That's all I need. That's all I need. That's all I need. That's all I need. I want Sharon to go ahead and go ahead and do it. Well, so we're going to move Come Sharon on. on. We're going to do the slide and we're just going to move Sharon on over here. <laughs> slide to the <laughs> right. Uh, don't start. Don't start. You don't want that. Start her. Don't want to come back. <laughs> Wait, do I need to get my own? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please, somebody get this. Oh, oh. Okay, Pastor, if you're watching, please um, bring your <laughs> service and just call her up, you know, in, in the middle of um, in the middle of all to call. You know what I mean? I need that alert. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, put some more in there. You're so stingy. That's a child's portion. I'm going to look for mine that's full. Y'all know I'm heavy hit. Oh, okay. Then. Yeah, there. Okay, that's mine. That's how it's going. Yeah, that's how it's going. Get on the inside. Okay. Yeah, that's how it's going. 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 Yeah, that's
Oh, you turned it into and a real cool. She had a whole bunch of stuff on the counter, and she said, "Well, I said, what are you doing?" She said, "I'm making a cake." Okay. So I'm looking around for the Duncan Hine box. <laughs> looking, and, she, and I said, "Well, I don't see the box." And she said, "What do you mean?" Well, I, I said, "You're making a cake, right? Where's the Duncan Hines box?" <laughs> and she said, "I'm making it from scratch." Like what? And I said, "Okay, where's the box? I want to see what kind of cake you're making." <laughs> I've never seen anybody make a cake from scratch. Wow. wow. I thought Duncan Hines was the, I'm mad at you. Uh, <laughs> the way you make cakes. Look at there. Yes. Oh, oh, man. Man. That looks oh, good. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take and I'm going to put a little more mm. of the Alfredo. I'm actually going to drizzle the Alfredo over the top. Ooh. And you can use as little or as much as you like. But because I love seafood, you know, I'm, I'm a little yeah, generous, a little extra. extra. So I have to be a little extra. extra. Yeah. So even after this, what we're going to do, we're going to take and <laughs> generously generous <laughs> cheese. Over top. Oh my God, that looks. She fabulous. is a cheese person. Ooh, I am yes, a cheese yes. person. We Everybody are cheese that follow us. Yes. Definitely they are cheese sister. Oh, you know <laughs> what? You gonna sprinkle it on paprika? Or not? A little paprika. No paprika. No paprika, no paprika today. No, but you know I am gonna put just a little um, fresh parsley. I love chopped parsley. Yeah, and it looks so good. Oh, nice. It looks so, so nice. beautiful. You know I'm. I'm just gonna go ahead and y'all, I'm just gonna use all this cheese. Oh my god. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, well, this is gonna turn out so Don't good. forget that corner over here. Oh, I will. Not, they I mean, will miss no corners. No stone on top. No stone on top. Okay. okay. You know what? When 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 Jesus come through, he don't miss nothing. Just so we're not gonna miss not one corner. Well, you know he often talk over a meal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. That is so true. Every was over a meal. That's right. That's right. That's the best time to gather together. Right. Right. Good, 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 good conversation. <laughs> okay, well, this is the finished product. This is almost the finished product. But what we're going to do, we're going to put this in the oven and we're going to let it bake until it's golden brown. But this is what we're looking at right Beautiful. now. Can you imagine when it comes out the oven? I can't wait. Ooh, I'm so excited. So make sure that you stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the church. It's Cooking Show. I'm Libby. Oh, oh, this is Stacey oh, and Sharon. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> what I tell you, we have such a great time here. Oh my goodness. And Sharon, as soon as they get Sharon themselves together, she will get her beautiful <laughs> dish out of the oven. Because we're hungry. Yes. Do you smell it? Do you smell oh, the aroma? Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> are ready. It only yes. took mm -hmm. like 10 minutes. If, mm -hmm. 10 minutes. And I guarantee you are going to love this. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out the oven. Look, they're so good it making me cry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got you. Oh, wow. Will you take oh, a look good. at that? Wow. That's beautiful. Can you see that? I see. That looks amazing. It looks amazing. It's a golden brown. Oh, and you, you smell that? Hear that sizzle. Mm -hmm. Oh, you hear that sizzle? I hear that sizzle. Oh, my goodness. It doesn't get any better than this. Oh, oh, that's so good. good. Melba, I'm so excited. No, I'm, I'm so excited ready. Too. Yes, I'm so ready for you. We're going to be gracious and let you have Thank one you. first. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
I'm so glad he's so delicious. <laughs> Today is Melba's last day for me. Salad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be a salad lady. She might could try this one. She yeah, like I think he is making it. Oh, yes. they can. You can definitely try this. Make sure that you go to our website at www.thechurchladies1.com for this recipe and so much mm. more. Melba, want to thank you for joining us today. Thank you. This mm. is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to have you. Anytime you want to come back, come back on. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. It was a pleasure having you yes. here. Sharon, what do you think about this dish? <laughs> come on, girl, say something. <laughs> Have Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Got you singing. I, yeah. <laughs> that means you really, really I can't enjoy it. no more. <laughs> Make sure you go to our website at www.thechurchladies1.com for this recipe and so much more. We want to thank you for tuning in to the Church Ladies Cooking Show. Make sure you tell your pastor, your first lady, your whole entire congregation, your family, and your friends. Tell everybody about the Church Ladies. We're so glad you joined us today. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye. I'm Nisi. I'm Libby. I'm Sharon. And we have some exciting news for you. We want to tell you about another great network we're on. We're on United Gospel Network. Wow. wow. Yes. <laughs> we're moving on up. <laughs> so make sure that you go to our webpage at www.thechurchladies1.com for information on United Gospel Network blogs, recipes, and so much more. I'm really excited about this network. It's, it's really, exciting. really exciting. Again, our website is www.thechurchladies1.com. Make sure you check us out. Tell your family, your friends, your congregation, pastor, and first lady about the church ladies. Tell everyone. Tell everybody. 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 <laughs> everybody. And we can't wait to see you on the next Church Ladies Cooking Show. <laughs> it's time. Yeah.